a nice Corvette. Now, with Summit Racing and on all cylinders here, today we're at SEMA 2015. I have Mike Finnegan and David Freiberger from Roadkill. And guys, one of the questions I have, the last Roadkill episode, Stubby Bob wasn't stopping. What's, what's the update with Stubby Bob? <laughs> Um, well, like most roadkill cars, it's just sitting there. <laughs> but the difference is it's sitting at your house. Yeah, yeah. No, I moved it. I moved it. Yeah, um, I know. Oh, good story. I'm glad you brought this up. I don't even think I told you this. So, you know where it was sitting in the driveway? And there's... Like, right next to your neighbor's house. Right, right. So if you didn't right. see it, make sure you watch that episode. Yeah, leaking into his yard. Um, my street tees with another street, and there's a stop sign there. And this guy was coming down the other street, looked at Stubby Bob, and didn't stop, and ran over my neighbor's mailbox. <laughs> oh, really? And so I've since moved the truck uh, to avoid further incidents. Awesome. Well, and now it's getting shipped out to California because we have to actually have to make it legal for our company. And so it's going to get registered out there. And then yeah. I thought we kind of had a plan for it. We were going to put a Cummins diesel in it. Yeah. Is that still, still the plan? I'd still love to do that. Yeah? Yeah. I'd still love to do that. That might happen. A diesel would be good. That would be cool. Remember, a Something commitment different. from us, though, means maybe three years from now. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What other commitments do you guys have going on other plans oh, we're wide Babies. open right now because yeah. actually earlier in this season we had an eight month plan of dates of shooting of topics and we mm -hmm. actually stuck to it and once that ran out we pretty much just fell off the edge of the table so we have to shoot another show in two weeks and we really don't know what we're doing i was genuinely impressed with the schedule you put together because because normally every year we start off and, and he'll come up with some 12 month plan that's yeah. amazing and it falls apart three months into it Max, but this year, yeah, we pretty much stuck to executing everything. Yeah. It, how long does it take to develop a plan? I mean, like, is it just one of those? We could probably hey, do it right hey, here. We saw a cool, yeah. cool car, and that that looks cool. That looks like a fun project type thing. We can make you an yep. episode right now if you got out your phone and got on Craigslist and went, yep. look at that. Let's drive here. That's, I think we should do another throw the dart. Yeah, I think that's probably what we that, should do. I want to go like. Maine or Vermont. I want to go. I don't want to do I-10 through the desert again. <laughs> I would love to do the other end of the country. We've always wanted to do um, Mount Rushmore, Rapid City, South Dakota. We yes. should just decide we're going there. We're going to buy a truck and get home or right a car now? or whatever. Yep. All right. That's what we're going. That's go. what we're doing in on December, our next show. Roadkill. Yep. Burnouts in front of Mount, Mount Rushmore. Yep. In you saw it live. <laughs> we have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> now, Mike, I know you just got here, but Dave, you you've been wandering around a little bit. What? kind of sticks out in, in your mind of vehicles, of new parts? When... There's a lot of crazy stuff. And so what I actually dig is going to be weird. There's this company called- Is Jeep? No, Motoped. Okay. They're, they're mopeds. Oh. They're bicycles with engines, but they look, there's one right there. Yeah. yeah. But they look super cool. And uh, I scammed one for us. So we'll be getting one for Roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> when you first said Motoped, I, I flashed back to my youth and, and you didn't want to be seen on a moped, but right. that is cool. That is cool. And, and they have three models. I didn't get that one. I got the zombie attack one that will remove the zombie part of it, and it'll look kind of roadkill. Will it cool. have the ability to wheelie into a gas pump? That's all I want. I know. can probably do that. Pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> what now, David? You you've done like video stuff in the past. You've done TV shows and everything. What's led you to? try to do roadkill and, and just keep it going because it, you're very it busy. Was, it was like, an accident, honestly, okay. because um, when Mike first came to Hot Rod, we just started goofing around doing stuff. Yeah. And then there was sort of a thing in the company, well, we should do web video. And we had a guy, Jason Lewis, who works for us again, who did a couple videos with us. What do we do? We did the Buick yeah. Rescue. The first thing we did was Vet Hack. That was the very first thing That's we right. ever did. That's right. We did Vet Hack where we cut the body off the C4 Corvette. Then we did the, the Buick, Buick Rescues, Rescue, then we yeah. did cr the Crusher Drive. Yeah. And those it, were kind of road kills, but they weren't called road kill. The production wasn't exactly the same. Yeah, we, we didn't have a show. We just, it, it was your idea. You had the bright idea to bring a guy and a camera. And we just went on a couple of road trips. Just do your stuff and film it? I just yeah. did it. And it was just, you know, it just was what it was. Yep. And then Motor Trend Channel YouTube was taking off at that time. And we had support from YouTube on it. And so the company invested in road kill. And I've been thinking about it that I think Brandon came up with that name. I, I remember what it was, was we were trying to name that magazine right. that never launched and Brandon came up with the name for the magazine. And, and then, then we stole it. And then we stole the name and never yep. launched the magazine. So Brandon Gologly, who's a staffer on Hot Rod, actually came up with the name and we started making the shows and surprisingly the views just pegged on it and it kept yep. on going and now Roadkill is 
a video series, an event series, which I'll tell you about later, a magazine, a website, and licensing agreements. Wow. So, so yeah, it's really taken off. Yeah, yeah we, we took a couple of road trips, and then one day he goes, we're doing this every month. There you yep. go. We need a name. There you yep. Go. Now, you mentioned the, the Crusher Camaro. What's, what's next with that? Because it always seems that you, you go back to the Crusher and just change it up a little bit what's, yep. what's happening with that well here's the thing and i actually learned this like yesterday oh. um first of all i visited horace mast over at his booth and he's been grinding me to give that motor back yeah and at the same time he's grinding me to actually well him and robin from holly are, are going we got to finish the nitrous thing make that thing run eights but we have a commitment to magnuson to put a supercharger on it and to qa1 to put a full suspension on it so nice. in the short term it's going to go back to pro touring mode which it kind of was in its second iteration and then after that, it'll probably go back to a more hardcore drag racing mode. Now, what is a car that has gotten away? You know, just that one car where you, you ended up selling it for one reason or another, or well, you everyone saw it for sale. Everyone asks about Pigpen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pigpen was the 50 GMC truck that we pulled out of a junkyard in one episode, and ultimately we weren't really that stoked on it, and so we sold it and it's gone, but people ask for it repeatedly. And it hasn't gotten away. Our, our director owns it. Yeah. His, and, and he would, he would let us work on it if we weren't such hacks when we filmed Roadkill. He doesn't want it destroyed. He's seen us. He wants it, you know, improved upon. And, and well, you when you give us three to five days, we, we tend to hack stuff up. Three to five day window, you need a month or, or two yeah. to, to film it. Yeah. So but that's the problem. That's why a lot of people are like, why don't you ever finish anything? Well, we shoot five days a month. What happens in those five days is what happens. It's not reality TV with a gang of people working on it behind the scenes. Well, yeah. you guys you know. have. Other, th other commitments. You got the magazines and, and all the other things you guys are trying to do. And so I really appreciate you guys taking a few minutes and just hanging out with us and oh, answering sure. a few questions. Uh, if you guys go to Motor Trend On Demand, you can find all of your roadkill as well as all of the other Motor Trend videos there. Uh, check us out on all, on all cylinders and we'll have more content for you guys up there as well. Thanks for watching.